Hello everyone, this is Mahita. Welcome to Mahita Smart Education. Today in this video, we are going to learn about templates in Sidecore. And I am going to cover all about Sidecore templates in this video. Like what is template, what are the different types of templates, how to add, inherit, how to add icons to the template, or how to inherit templates to one template. and how to add standard values to template and uh, what are the tokens, Sideco tokens and how can we add them and uh, what are the insert options in Sideco. All of the things I am going to cover in this video. Okay, without wasting our time, let me move on to our video. Template is an item in Sidecore and which is defines the structure and behavior of other items and every item in Sidecore is an instance of some template and a template may also define the sections and fields into which it breaks down into the fulfill the content. And there are various types of templates present in Sidecore like uh, the data template is there, branch template is there, command template is there, and paste template is also there. Data template is like the data and all the information that we want to display on a page. Like uh, for example, I want to display one image or I want to display some content or I want to display some header, footer, all these things we have to uh, create in this data template. And branch template uh, is like uh, the branches. Branches means it have some parent, uh, parent template and child templates. So in this way it is created. I will explain you about that next. And let's uh, see how to create a template in Sidecore. For this, we have to right click on the uh, template. For example, if we have any folder we can uh, simply right click on that folder if we, uh, and if we don't have any folder then we can go to the template section in Sidecore and then we can right click on that templates this templates we can right click on the it and we can have the option like insert uh, these options will be there we can click on insert and we have three options new template template folder insert from template uh, we can click on new template or we can click on template folder. Let's click template folder and just name it as example or anything. And then click on, uh, then right click on that folder and insert, uh, click on the new template. And then this dialog box will become, and then you have to name it, click on next. And then you have to select the location where you want this template to be present. And uh, for example, I want this template in Sidecore, then click on next. And then this template, new template will be in the Sidecore folder. And uh, it has three fields like builder, inheritance and content. And we can add data and the fields to this template. And this is how we create a template or data template in Sidecore. Okay. Yes, see these are the fields in the side code. Now let's see what a branch template is. I will give you one example so that you will able to know about this branch template. For example, if I want to create a website for a large or a very big company and it has various number of employees and various number of departments and they want different departments the web page for different departments and in each department they want three pages like about us page contact us page and the home page for example then for every department we want these three pages so by using this branch template we can just create one department folder and we can add about us contact us and uh, the home page like that then we don't have to create all the other templates uh, like next department to home page about us contact us department three home page about us contact us we don't have to do this because in sidecore we are having more number of options right right so simply 
go to the insert option and uh, i have already created one video related to the insert options and uh, it i will give the link in the description box go and watch that video so you will able to understand all about the insert option right and uh, you can uh, simply give the insert option and select this de um, department template and this department is having the child elements as home about us and contact us right so simply uh, by clicking on this department page we can create number of pages department 1 department 2 department 3 and we don't have to create the about us home and contact us pages for every single template because it is already been given okay and this is the main use of this branch template now let's see about the command template and command template allows insert of items according to logic rather than predefined structure it allows us to insert some items and uh, we can create the com uh, command template using in the system folder in the branches in command template we can create our command template just simply right click on the command template and insert and click new command template and that's it you can create this uh, command template now we are going to see the template inheritance by using this concept we can we can inherit one single template with more number of templates yes it is possible in sidecore and if you want to know clearly about this concept then i have uploaded one video related to inheritance i will provide you the link for this video also please go and check then you can able to inherit your data templates into your page templates and yes i am going to explain you now what is inheritance means for example i have to create two pages this page one and page two and for these two pages i want the header and footer to be common but i will change the body item so i have to insert header here footer here header here footer here okay for two templates uh, it is easy for two pages it is easy if i want n number of pages then uh, then adding header and footer to all these n number of pages is like very difficult task right so we can simply have one data template with these two fields and we can inherit that data template to these two pages so that we are having these fields and this is one of the coolest option inside code so that we can have this like this by using the inheritance and yes this is one of the best example i found on net like for example for the books uh, for example i want to create three pages book press release review then in book i'm having title description image category author price and in press release also title description image category date and in reviews also title description image book reviewer name then you can observe here i am uh, doing or i am adding title description image three times right it is very difficult to add these sections in three times so we can simply have one data template with the name of content base and we can have this fields title description image and uh, let's take content media and you can see the category is in two pages right so let's take this content media metadata and category as the field and we can in book we have author and price just we can add author and price so that we can inherit this content base folder and content meta data so that this book is having title field description piece image field category field or the field and price field right and this is one of the coolest feature i found i feel okay yes uh, okay how to inherit them just simply click on one template and click on this content if we select the template we have three options right builder inheritance and content and click on this content and we can uh, have these two boxes and we can simply select the template and we uh, we can inherit them save it that's it yes adding icons to templates i have uploaded one video in the sidecore also about this uh, adding icons i will 
try to put this video link also in the description box do watch that video okay it is very easy to inherit uh, the icons or configure the icons to templates just simply click on one template click on single or any template and then go to configure and we have this option as icon just click on that icon then we have number of icons are there and more for more icons we can click here and we have more number of icons and that's it it is very simple and adding standard values i have already done one video related to standard values inside core and do watch that video also and standard values are like the default values for the template and uh, we can have the standard templates for all the items which we have created uh, okay yes and uh, standard values are common to all the items which are using this standard templates and i have already uh, done about the standard values uh, i have created one video so do watch that video also and uh, about the insert options i have uploaded one video as i told earlier do watch that video also and this is all about our side code templates and uh, hope you like this video do if you like this video do like share and comment below and don't forget to subscribe to my channel mahita smart education thank you thanks for watching